This time I wanted to make an all wood clamp, except for the threaded rod of course. I experimented with the ratchet function and came up with this one. As you can see it's easy adjustable. The head and back stock is secured and reinforced with wooden dowels. And a doubled up rubber band keeps pressure on the ratchet lever. I made the clamp 700 millimeters long. Any longer than that it would probably be too flexy. The flex on this bar I find acceptable. Let's see how it's made. I start by laying out the ratchets. And cutting them on the bandsaw. You could also use the miter saw the throat of your bandsaw is not deep enough. The available plants have templates. These are great for locating the holes and the shape. You can find a link to the plans in the description below. Now it's just a matter of shaping the parts. And easing up the edges. And the assembly is pretty straightforward.
The sharp edges are rounded over. Some with the router bit, and some with the sander. Treating all the edges before assembly would have been a lot easier. Small screws are used to hold the rubber band. I cut this nut in half to make it fit inside the cavity of the push pad. The handle is made from a cut of broomstick. I put the threads directly into the plywood. If you're not comfortable with that, maybe looking for an even stronger thread, you could use a piece of hardwood. Or you could recess a hex nut directly into the piece. We'll go with a good old tea nut. I use nylon lock nuts, but thread lock and regular nuts could also be used. Washer and handle is glued on with 5 minute epoxy. And the foam grip on the handle, just regular wood glue. Remember the dab of glue I put on the ratchet in the beginning of the video? If you're afraid of glue squeeze out sticking to your clamp, put on some tongue oil or some other protective finish. It'll peel right off. Two new stickers. Dima's wood shop and Steve Carmichael from the Carmichael Workshop, along with a nice letter. Thanks, guys.